Maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. And you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life? Succumb to deadly delusion. <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appears. Yeah, okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. Hammer and what is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Hey, Lord. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um. Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. About the Delph. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage. Whatever you find below is yours. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the, uh... The incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. Whoa. There's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? There's a very special salvage I want down there. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. Ah, we were detected. But suddenly, the dancing lights around us changed. Lights? What do you mean? Images in the air, sparked by the embers, the salvage I'm after. Tiny hologram projectors. At first, there were lots of images. Women and, and coins and foodstuffs. And then, suddenly, they turned nautical. Waves. Fish. It was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. <sighs> a warning. 
thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay, time to see if this thing works. Did it? <laughs> okay. Okay. Poseidon is through there. Where did that machine go? Aloy! It's a miracle! There's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay, then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, um, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, Shard Counter. Nothing wrong with a little revenue. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. We'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Call her if you need us. Thanks. Sea ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment. Don't forget, 
games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I am. Um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check. found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on it. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, and studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. A few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. What's wrong? I'm trying, Ball. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about it. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. 
that I won't hold my breath. these hostels and into the I'm ruins. Flowers here and the vines, so maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy. How do I get out of here? dead. I better be careful. I submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. By death alone, I can atone our trespass. I'm not gonna kill you, okay? I just wanna figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Uh, I moved the chosen people. The Quen. The ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone. The eye that reveals the legacy. The legacy, huh? The legacy? Uh, the truth. You know, it is in the darkness and the lost places. Among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. You know, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alva. Second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we... Start again. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map. Uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. Here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? Looks like your focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? Oh, 
You can see what is lost and forbidden. Not lost, not forbidden, just a newer format. There, that's where I need to go. But you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. What about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Let's try with my focus, okay? I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but... fly to and from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? <sighs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Ready when you are. Okay, you ready? On two. One. Two. Commencing adamantine reef vulnerability test scenario 12C15. Meet below. I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log. Um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second. Who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's Jim. biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The Time of Ashes. Most of the data about that is lost, or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. 
they will starve. Alva. Alva. I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But... Every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. We need to keep moving. Test Station Ivy can't be far off. my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But you kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. Follow it. I should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. years to get through all of this but we don't have that kind of time uh, what you said before about <laughs> uh. Alva hold your fire by the word of the ancestors you must stop come look at who you fired on that barbarian killed our soldiers uh, only those who fired blindly she is no barbarian she gave me the data we need. Come, look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you, an ancestor reborn. the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. Can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months. And you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. It is far west, by the ruins near the Broken Bridge. San Francisco? Yes. You are well versed in the Legacy. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. 
Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. I better do as Alva says. I need to get Demeter back to... With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. <laughs> Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you've been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I've been there. The Tanakh marked the entrance as some kind of ritual ground. I'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport ring. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work. I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it. Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher... Ted Pharaoh's Megacore. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone, will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. All of a sudden, the Quinn have a ferry on the coast that they used to get.
one's gone in this side of the ferry either. Where are the Quim? Is that her? The living at? This is Landfall, right? I'm looking for Alba. Overseer Bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach. Please, come with me. Go, let him know we're coming. Seer Bohai, a stranger who just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat. Lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... Present our honored CEO. So, here she is. Our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CEO. How can she appear as sober and yet know nothing of our ways? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes. The final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far, but the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that the machine has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they're holding out. Machines, huh? I can help with that. Alva told us that you are indeed formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A thunder job. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, stronger, and it has black armor? Yes. How did you know? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. Then destiny shines upon us, as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among us. Then she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. 
We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. Olva, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine. But what are you doing here? There's something inside Thebes that I need. I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement, kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little tense. There's something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Aloy, you have to be careful. He's... There they are. The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Thebes awaits us below, shall we? Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may, Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found. The ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. N or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded and they're too far underwater, but... I yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. The door is open. Destiny is upon us. I knew you could do it. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. Oh, why are you dressed like Ted Pharaoh? I am Pharaoh, renewed. My essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations, his soul is my soul. His will is my will. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament, his deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my grasp. When I have them, I will be complete as he was. I will have everything I need to save our homeland, and, as Pharaoh did, the world. Okay. I think there's some confusion here about who Pharaoh really was. 
No one knows better than I who he was, who he is. Me, the Renewer, greatest of the ancestors, the man who saved the world. And you, you understand, Sobek. You are her, Pharaoh's harbinger, his assistant. Come, we will descend into Thebes together, as it should be. Bring her the raiment. Raymond? As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear proper business attire? Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. Or what? It is said Sobek valued life above all else. Is this true? Fine. I'll wear your raiment. The grandeur! There will be no... So hey, this is weird. I tried to warn you. Yeah, so... I'll explain everything if we survive long enough. Those certainly look threatening. Ah, statues. The guardians of Pharaoh's domain. Those aren't statues. Look out! Get the CO out of here! Guess it's just us then. Attached to some kind of apparatus. I wonder what it does. An impressive setup. What is it for? Okay, yeah. You saw something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Remember, he was the renewer. Of course he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning. For us, for the Quen. And for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see, in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. Since this whole thing began, alone in bearing 
the burden for the past, for the future. The same old Ted. No matter who dies, he's the one feeling sorry for himself. Less his future. Less his children. Someday they'll come, and I'll be here to greet them. Sometimes that my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. Time. And energy. Sometimes if they're reacting, give me what I need. To grow strong again. To get my shit back together. So I can greet the kids. They're gonna need me. My advice. My guidance. And then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? Uh, not the ones you're looking for. Then they must be in there. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. Burn it to ash. Wait, no. Pharaoh has it rigged to melt down if... Kill them too. No witnesses. We found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CEO? He's... gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The seal was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. 
He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But... We really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it, and use it. Now if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go. And then take credit, when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please. But Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your sub-functions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Hey, Loy. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. A slave. Forever.
The only way we can end the risk of that happening is by stopping the Xenus for good. And in order to do that, we have to get Hephaestus. The Xenus are a threat to everyone, Beta, not just you. So find your courage. That's easy for you to say. You still have no idea what they're capable of. I told you from the beginning we'll never beat them. It's hopeless. You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I looked through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned, and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like Having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. Find another way. I'll go. You're right. I'll only be safe from them when we succeed. You have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. You understand? Okay. Promise? Use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. Hey Gaia. So, uh, 
Me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Connections in place. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Errant, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm in my Cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the cauldron network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. Here, protect Beta. Hey, Lloyd. See, if I pass this dad, the core is stable. Festus is 100% contained. Now we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. Complete the merge. 
Search. We need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. us quite a lot of time. Eric, get beta. And squash that bad boy. Get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Telda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Telda! What the hell are you doing? Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast.
There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done? You think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them, and lived with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. A thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand, to be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. There. That's better. Now, we must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. <clears throat> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now, she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him. Along with all the others. 
Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way, one that only I know about, while Silence and my friends are busy battling each other. We'll take back Beta and Vaya. I told you I'd want to help you. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deep. Wait, the data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible, we might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? With that Regala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? sister. We'll be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. 
And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regal's rebellion. From the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh team. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if. When. Errand, are you there? Aloy! When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood! Hey! Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off on that zenith, Eric. The zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you, too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenus. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, Meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important.
Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plains so Further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower gathered its seeds. In 
live a lie, now calm. Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! <laughs> Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're atop a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. Decide her fate. I spared her once, but only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die. I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead. Against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people. A squad. That's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold in the mountains near Plainsong. Send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room.
surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regal. So, state it. It's for her alone. From an interested party. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Thank you. Pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the past few weeks. I'm supposed to do the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need it to knock Farmy to defeat the Zenus. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy you were up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I ever do that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Hey, uh, Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, you're focused, buddy, who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation of your plans for the Zenith base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again at the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, look. That must be her little invention. Does the weapon work? 
quite self-destructing. Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Control room, so Tilda can tell you. All right, people, I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone, we all know what's at stake Beta, Gaia, not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life.
Okay. Care of everything I can before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. And then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Aloy. We're here. And we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Get to the launch tower. Alpha and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta, come on, come on. What is that? Get 
to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped containment. It will not. Come on, let's go! <gasps> This way, demon! This is the death I was promised! Go! <laughs> Return peacefully to the cycle. Please, she cared nothing for peace. been causing all the fuss. Until this little pet. Silence. Scene is inbound. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless. You can't hurt us. Face it, your worms that ooze through the cracks into our basement. Silence? One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No? Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up! Are we supposed to be scared? escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? We failed to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready?
Trust me. You're gonna wish you had one. Hit me! <laughs> forgot what it was like to hurt. <laughs> now we're having fun, right? You okay? I will be. In time. Go. Are you okay? Look, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zenith to Earth. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. Or, or a swarm of them. The energy readings are astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth is in a new home for them. It's a way station. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us. Including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. 
with Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Amy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. Where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth. More than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover! Get to the door! So then, Aloy, you can't win. No! And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along. From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. Everything I did to create the Rebel Army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. Now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribe on Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. 
just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made, the sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Lord. Thank the turn. Goodbye, Silence. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. You did it. Hey, where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. You sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all of the help you can get. Uh, does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, <laughs> I'd be fine with a nap. <laughs> Excellent idea. Ugh. I hope he's really over this time. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. It's about preserving what we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. The people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem.
have to block it out My voice has grown so somber These words don't seem like mine But the iron won't subside No matter, no matter what I try 